Hey guys, what's up? It's QFence, and welcome to Mod Monday. Today, I'll be showing you how to install the More Pickaxes mod. So let's take a look at what these pickaxes look like. We have the Mega Pickaxe, Magma Pickaxe, Obsidian Pickaxe, Sandstone Pickaxe, Dirt Pickaxe, Gravel Pickaxe, Netherrack Pickaxe, Glowstone Pickaxe, Coal pickaxe, redstone pickaxe, glass pickaxe, snow pickaxe, wool pickaxe, soul sand pickaxe, extreme pickaxe, bomb pickaxe, bread pickaxe, ender pickaxe, and an emerald pickaxe. So, all these pickaxes are not in your regular Minecraft. These are 19 new pickaxes. But a couple, you're probably not going to figure out how to craft yourself. I showed you just for examples here, sandstone pickaxe. You know, they mostly go like this. The obsidian pickaxe is just four, three obsidian up here in the sticks. You know, you can pretty much, pretty much figure those out for yourself. So, um, let's look at the mega pickaxe here. You take three diamonds, two magma cream, and iron ingots right here. Alright. The magma pickaxe. You have three magma cream up on top. And two blaze rods here. Making the magma pickaxe. That one you might be able to guess. But I just threw it in there. Sandstone, dirt, gravel. So the glowstone pickaxe I want to point out. That it also has. You use glowstone dust and sticks. Not glowstone blocks. Alright. So just remember that there. Alright. We have a lot of pickaxes. Sorry about that. We have a lot of pickaxes. We have the extreme pickaxe. So, this is the extreme pickaxe here. Yes, you use diamond blocks, but this is the best pickaxe in the game. Bomb pickaxe. That's um, TNT. I put at the top with, sh with the sticks. Bread pickaxe. Of course, it's bread and sticks. The ender pickaxe here, I want to show you. It's got two iron ingots and three ender pearls. Alright. Just want to show you that. So, this emerald pickaxe is one that's... Mm, it's pretty awesome. I mean, it takes actual, an actual block from the game. Uh, the newer block, you know, than emerald. Emeralds, they're pretty awesome. Let me just show you how this thing mines here. Ooh, it mines as fast as creative mode. No. So, let's do game mode zero. Let's show you how fast this thing mines. It's about diamond speed, right? Maybe a little bit faster than diamond. Pretty good. Now, I'm going to show you the Mega and the Extreme Pickaxe. Alright. So, let's put this one away. And we'll go to Extreme. This one looks pretty awesome in your hand, right? Look at that. Look how big it is. That's what she said. Shh. All right, mega pickaxe. Now let's just show you how these things mine. Of course, they don't mine dirt fast at all. First, I'm going to be showing you this mega pickaxe because that one's not quite as great. But let's just show you these pickaxes here. All right, we have mega pickaxe. Pretty fast. That's like efficiency. Maybe like efficiency four. Oh, these are all also enchantable. Let me show you the extreme pickaxe. One problem is it does cause a lot of lags while these drops that come down so fast. You can actually hurt yourself by mining down. There's a new form of don't mine under you. Look at this. See that? I can mine down so fast that I will take damage. See that? Okay, let's go back into creative mode here. Come on. There we go. Thank you, Minecraft. So yeah, that mega that extreme pickaxe is as fast as creative mode, I'd say. So we're gonna show you how to install this pickaxe now, alright? Let's just save and quit quit the game. Alright, so let's show you how to install the pickaxe here. We have mod loader. That's the first thing we're going to install. But before we do anything, we have to navigate to our Minecraft folder. So you go into your finder, 
go under library application support minecraft then here you have your bin folder but before we do anything we delete the bin folder to make sure nothing's corrupt anything like that now we open our minecraft hit log in and wait until you hit the mojang screen now that we've closed out we have our bin folder back open bin right click on minecraft.jar open with archive utility you may have the unarchiver if you're running a more advanced version of mac os x i'm back in 2006 so yeah this is kind of an old macbook here and yes i have a macbook not a macbook pro that's why you can see all this. It probably looks a lot different to you. Alright, so go into this. Press enter to rename it. Go to the end. And name it Minecraft.jar. Jar. You, it's going to ask you if you want to add the extension .jar. Click add. Go in here. And you have all this. You right click. Cl uh, arrange by. Kind. And that will give you these folders at the top. Every single folder in here will be at the top now. What we want to do is we want to delete meta-inf because it's a corrupt file and whenever you install a mod with that, it will give you a black screen. Or it will not actually open Minecraft sometimes with some mods. But now we're going to double click on mod loader. It'll say unarchiving with the archive utility or the unarchiver. You double click on this folder that it gives you and you do command A, command C, close this and we can do now in the minecraft.jar command v to paste all that apply to all replace we can go in here double click same thing will happen it'll unarchive like that we want to work with this folder and then we have all this yes we have a folder here but don't be tempted to put this in your gui on your items so once again we do command a command c you can close this go back in here and do command v replace this one's not going to apply to all because there's only one item that is the same now the mods installed thank you very much i just wanted to show you that cool mod day come back every monday for mod mondays subscribe for more like comment please comment guys i want to know how i'm doing i would love for you to comment it'd be just great for you to comment please uh, anything, just not hate comments. You can ha you can hate comment if it's just a, you know, creative criticism, you know. All right. So once again, thank you very much. Subscribe and goodbye.